Hello humans, let's install Virtual Tabletop Enhancement Suite for Roll20 on Chrome. That way we can use animated maps like this. We'll start with a fresh tab and type VTTES in a Google search. It's the first result, VTT Enhancement Suite by Justice. Click Chrome, click Download the extension here, and I'll open it up in my downloads. Here's the file we just got. We're going to extract it. I'll just extract it right to downloads. And this folder is what just came out. We're going to point Chrome to this, and that's how you manually install extensions. We're going to go to the top menu, top right corner menu in uh, Chrome, go More Tools, and go Extensions. And again in the top right, hit Developer Mode to enable Developer Mode. That gives you more options in the top left, like Load Unpacked. Click Load Unpacked, and go back to your downloads, and select the folder we just made. Bam! We just installed it in under a minute VTT Enhancement Suite. Now when you open up Roll20, you can use animated maps. So I'm going to, uh, let's create a new page. There we go. Fresh blank canvas. I'm also going to disable the grid. Okay. Now you'll see a new button here in the top right. It's an orange button that looks like a show movie reel. It, when you click it, you get a box that comes up where you can enter a URL. That's a URL for a video. I've saved some videos into imager.com. Um, it's a great site for uh, hosting short videos, just like uh, um, videos like animated backgrounds. So I'll right click the video that I've already saved here. I'll hit copy video address. Don't use this link. Don't use this URL. You have to right click and hit copy video address or else it'll give you the wrong URL. So go back to roll 20 and paste your URL and hit enabled. If it doesn't show up right away, make sure enabled is clicked. Double click it a couple times if you need to. And check it out. There's ambient noise of the gears grinding and, uh, and screeching against each other. And you have a beautiful animated background. I'll drag out my buddy Sasashi, who's going to spin around on the gears a bit. So probably every turn he's going to move a little to his left. Um, or his, yeah, left. Uh, now, oh, one thing worth mentioning, when I first installed VTT in, uh, Enhancement Suite, I discovered that the place where you give players permission to move tokens was gone. It's actually been moved into a different menu. In order to give token permission to players, you have to go into the journals section up here and click the name of the character. This box pops up and in the top right you see edit. Click edit and then you see can be controlled by. This is where you select who gets control. I'll just hit all players. There you go. Sasashi everybody gets control. Save changes and voila. Um, that way it won't drive you nuts. I'll show off a few other maps that I've uh, used with my players. Um, here is a wagon journey. Um, if you want to do a chase scene, then there's a faster version of this you can use as well. And here is a stopped version. Notice the trees blowing in the wind. I'll also go to, let's see, the city. So you have water flowing, trees again blowing, birds flying around, um, ambient noise. And we'll go back to the flesh dungeon. Uh, yeah, you've got these creepy pseudopods uh, just pulsing through the dungeon floor. Uh, if you travel, let's travel into this creepy crevice right here. And that'll take you to the flesh heart. Uh, yeah, my, my buddy came down here and he stabbed this heart. And he kept stabbing it and weird stuff started happening. D&D is the best game. Um, Virtual Tabletop Enhancement Suite, it's awesome. There are so many cool features beyond just animated maps that it adds. It really does enhance Roll20. Um, I can't go over them all in this video too much. Um, but I do recommend checking out the Patreons, my favorite Patreons, uh, for making animated maps. They are Dynamic Dungeons, Animated Dungeon Maps, and Cyber Maps. I'm not sponsored by anybody. Uh, but uh, I hope that you check out uh, Roll20 Enhancement Suite, a.k.a. VTTES, 
um, and those Patreons. Also, when you post the Patreon's videos on Imager, do keep it private. Post it as hidden. Do not make it public because the artists will not enjoy that. And uh, they work hard for their money. And, you know, they don't want you giving away their stuff for free. Anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. Let me know if you have questions. Take care.